Hello and welcome to Quality Professional Consulting Group YouTube channel. My name is Ben Tomic and in this short video we're going to talk about one very important topic in ISO 9001-2015 standard and that is how to develop quality objectives. Let's start. So what are quality objectives? Quality objectives are objectives related to quality management system. Quality objectives are generally based on the organization's quality policy. So quality policy is a driving document for developing quality objectives. The quality objectives are the main method used by the organization to focus uh, the goals from the quality policy into plans for improvement. Also, quality objectives and planning to achieve them is the requirement of ISO 9001-2015 standard, therefore it must be properly addressed. Okay, so quality objectives, according to ISO 9001-2015 standard, must be consistent with quality policy, as we already said, be measurable, be take into account applicable requirements, be relevant to conformity of products and services and to enhancement of customer satisfaction, be monitored, be communicated, be updated as appropriate. The organization must document quality objectives. So that means that the organization has to have an evidence of its quality objectives. The organization must determine the following related to quality objectives. What will be done? What resources will be required? Who will be responsible? When it will be completed? And how the results will be evaluated? So the question is how to develop quality objectives. The most effective way to create quality objectives is to use SMART approach. SMART is an acronym that provides criteria for setting quality objectives. SMART means specific as S, M measurable, A assignable, R realistic and T time limited. So specific means uh, to target a specific area for improvement measurable to quantify a key performance indicator of progress, assignable to specify who is responsible for a particular quality objective, realistic to state what results can realistically be achieved given available resources and constraints, and time limited to specify when, the resu when results can be achieved. So, Let's look one example of quality objective, and uh, this is still one quality objective, the number of non-conformities. Uh, the target is uh, less than 1%. Uh, these are the resources, uh, processes, procedures, uh, employees' environments. So first, let's look at the goal. So what will be done? Number of non-conformities. Then uh, the, the, the target, less than 1%. Uh, the, uh, is it measurable? We are following the guidelines and the requirements in the ISO 9001-2015 standard. Then uh, uh, what resources we're going to use to achieve this particular uh, objective? Um, uh, different processes, procedures, employees, equipment, and so on and so on. Uh, then who will be responsible for this particular uh, objective? Um, in this case, it's going to be quality manager because it's a number of non-conformities and it's uh, really the function of uh, quality department. Uh, then uh, uh, when uh, the uh, objective uh, will be completed, uh, the last quarter of the current year, for example, and uh, let's look at the status uh, in this moment. It's a 0.9%, which is below the target. So that means that we uh, were still complying to the uh, 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 specified values. Uh, so uh, uh, this would be pretty much everything for today's video. Thank you for watching it. Uh, until next time.